Hi, my name is Obi Pascal. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your website to the cloud on cPanel using Git repository. All right, let's help in. So here we are in my cPanel. I'm already logged in. So the first thing we need to do is to navigate to the file section where we now see the Git version control. Now we click here. To create. A repository. I already have a repository, as you can see here. So I'm going to create a new Git repository. Now, in case you don't know, if you want to host this repository on your subdomain, you have to first of all create that subdomain. You can look out my video on how to create a subdomain on cPanel Jupyter Dim, and you can walk through and create a subdomain. So this video is a continuation of that video. So I'm just going to type that subdomain sandbox. You see, this will predict the, the directory on my file system here for me. So I'm going to click on that and add the repository name, let's say sandbox. And I click create. So this will initialize the repository for my subdomain. So now when this is already done, the next thing you need to do is to grab the URL. For me, I already have a repository connected to GitHub. So I only want to add a remote repository so that I can be able to uh, deploy to the remote uh, server. So I'm going to open my VS Code now. I will go to my project, the one I want to deploy to the server. I will then grab this URL as it is. And on my server, I will open my terminal. For Windows users, you can press Control back tick, and that will pop up the terminal. Oh, sorry. So I will click on this arrow. If you're on VS Code, you can do the same and click on Git Batch. I don't know why it's low. Okay, so you can then, first of all, let's see the available remote repository. You say Git remote. We have an origin repository which is pointed to GitHub. So we are going to add a new repository, remote repository. So we are going to call this remote repository production. This will be a production repository. Where this and I don't know why this is. Maybe we kill it and open it again. Yeah. yeah. And we call this production. Oh, no, we'll call it sandbox. Sandbox and that. So, one thing I need you to understand about deploying to uh, remote servers on uh, remote servers using Git repo, uh, Git hope or Git commands is that you have to have SSH access to your server. If you don't have SSH access, you can use the server default credential. For mine, you can use the username, something like uh, the the default server password. The I think your server must support that before you can do that. If your server doesn't support SSH access, you might want to contact your hosting providers and demand for that. But if it does, just scroll down to your security section on the SSH and you click on there. Now, what I do normally whenever I'm doing deployments is that I create SSH on my local computer, which is mostly found on my 
system, you'll find something like SSH folder here. Now the key generated on my local system, I now take the public key and then import it here. So what I do is I open this and then I copy this SSH key and I come down to my cPanel and go to manage SSH key and I click on import and then add the name and then I paste in the public key here without putting anything and then I import that key. Now, when that key is imported, I've already done that, so there's no need. So I'm going to go back. You can find the key on manage SSH on the public key. Now, when you click on this, if you haven't authorized the key yet, you will see this text showing authorized authorized key but since my key is already authorized i can deauthorize it deauthorization means that you're giving your local system authorization to assess your remote system for example your local ssh password is what you now use to push uh your files to your remote servers but since i've done that already i just showed you in case you want to use my approach if you don't want to use this approach you can still use your normal cpanel login details to achieve that but just keep in mind that anytime you want to make push request from your local let's say you want to say git remote git push sandbox look at this it's going to prompt you for password you see that but since i use ssh it's asking me for my ssh password so uh for now we can then I'm going to enter my password now. There. Now the files are being pushed to my local server. I mean, my remote server, sorry. Now, once this is done, yes, this is complete, successful. So when once this is done, you can now go back to your file system and you can see this is the folder, the sandbox folder uh the subdomain i created so i'm going to reload there you can see all my files are now on my remote server so i can start my configuration i can start doing whatever i need to do my deployment my dev up i find it very easy to use this approach that that zipping the whole files and using the normal filezilla and stuff like that i mean if i should change a tiny piece of code on my uh project Imagine I have to zip everything again and then upload, I change a tiny thing. No, so I just prefer that if I change a tiny thing, let's say I change this and uh, let's say I add some more, say hi. I'm just gonna put that there just to show you it works. Oh, I already do. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to committed and you see how it's so simple when you make changes tiny piece of changes you can just do a git push and it's pushed to your remote repository without any uh, uh bundling or zipping your folders you get them up i will not say updated local changes my my message and da. Uh, Great. Now I'm going to sync it to my GitHub repository, but while I'm doing that, I would also sync it to the remote repository. So I would say git push sandbox. Now, in case you want to switch between master and main branch and any other branch, you can still do the same thing. But the difference is that when you create a new branch locally on your system and you want to push that live, let's say we do checkout uh, B, I will call this branch um, uh, final integration, and that would take out, no, I missed the spelling, get yeah, checkout. I'm checked out. So I want to publish this branch to my server. What I do is git push sandbox sandbox. I do this push. 
this page i will do with a hyphen u and then i specify the branch i'm pushing to final integration so what it's going to do is that it, when the, when it can find this uh, branch on the remote server it will automatically create the branch and push this project to that branch you understand so if i hit this it's going to prompt me for password and uh, final integration branch final integration set up track blah 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 password reused i think everything is done so the new branch is created the changes are pushed and that's it so with this i believe you can now create you can now do your uh, git uh, deployments to your server without any stress so i hope you find this video useful and please hit the comment uh the like button and comment your your issues in case you have any Thank you.